G'day guys, welcome back. It's nearly Christmas and I'm getting into the Christmas spirit. Look, I have a new mold. It's just a little bauble mold. It's nothing too amazing, nothing too special. It's just baubles. Uh, different sorts, it's only thin, it's only three millimeters deep. So it's not gonna hold a lot of resin, they're not gonna be too heavy. So I'm gonna do that today, first time using this. Um, those of you that know me or have been watching my videos will know that um, my Christmas tree is silver, white and red. Those are my colours. So today, actually that's the big one. So for today, I'm going to just do kind of silvery, silvery white sort of colours, okay? Now I've divided my resin into, I've got nine shapes i've got nine little cups scattered around the place here uh, three of them these three have got more resin in them they for the, the bigger the bigger molds um, but basically i'm just gonna yeah <laughs> i'm just gonna get started i'm gonna put some glitter in one and some little got some little snowflakes in another and a little black dot that doesn't belong in there so yeah just basically just trying out my new mold and putting some glitters and, and silvery things in them so this one this one what is this one this one is by studio j glitter and it's called mythical uniform unicorn confetti so that's that one and look at this i've got some little tiny snowflakes crystal snowflakes let's pop those in this one again I don't need a lot I just want a little hint a little hint of some something special in them I might put a little bit of silver glitter in those but yeah um, I, I love Christmas um, it's my favorite time of the year first Sunday in December my family all get together they come over to my house my husband and I put up the tree um, a bit earlier um, but they all come over and we trim the tree like my husband put the tree up we put the lights up and then the kids come over the parents come over all the family and uh, we, we decorate the tree so yeah love it and uh, we have food nibbles we have you know special drinks and we listen to christmas carols and that's how we spend our our day uh, and if it's in the afternoon we'll stay everyone will stay and we'll have some dinner together um, and then you know we might play some cards later on in the evening and we'll just make a special day of it so looking forward to that uh, that's that's the um yeah first sunday of december I think it's a Saturday this week because my other daughter's working. Now I'm going to add some Extreme Sheen Deco Art paint to this one just to see <laughs> what that looks like. Uh, why not? Little little blob. I do like the Deco Art Extreme Sheen, so we'll just see what that looks like. So basically, silvers, whites, still keeping things transparent because you know when you when your little decorations hanging up on the tree. I really like the light, you know, little fairy lights from behind your ornaments to, to shine through. So I don't want to um, totally block them out. This one here was Ice Blue by Studio J. Right, moving on, we have this one, White Opal. White Opal, White Opal. Oh gosh, I don't even know where it's from. Oh, Art Tree Creations, there we go. A little bit of blue opal. So if it's got a little bit of blue hue, that's I'm okay with that. Just a tiny bit. You know, silver, blue, ice. <laughs> I have icicle decorations on my tree. So yeah, just want a little bit of colour in each of these. And uh, I've got some silver thread that um well it's more of a more of a i don't know <laughs> it's not a rope it's not a ribbon it's not a thread it's something silver and glittery to to hang now you can see each has got a built-in little bauble hole there little hole um and i've made them big enough that your resin can go into and around 
without you having to think about, oh my gosh, it's too thin, it's, you know, the resin's going to break. It's a nice, decent size. You can easily put a ribbon through there if you want to add a ribbon. Now, this one is the Metallic Silver Alcohol Ink by Marabou. Got a little bit of that in. Again, don't want a lot. I still want them to be quite transparent. It's a good way for me to see what all the different colours and glitters and things look like. You know, just want a little do a little sample. And I'll keep all my little cups because I'm using nine cups here. So when I'm finished, I'll just wipe them out with paper towel. And uh, a little bit of resin that stays in there is fine. It can stay in there till next time. Now this one, I actually don't know where this came from. A little sample somebody sent me. Blizzard. Blizzard mica. Open it over here away from the mould. It's probably going to be similar, I think. Oops. To this one, this one's Sparkle. It's probably similar to that one, so that's called Blizzard. It looks very much like my other one, my Sparkle. I'm going to have to change it up. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, and now look at these, look at these. This is so fun. Little, little balls by Larissi. They're just tiny little balls. <laughs> Never used those before. Let's open the bag. Hopefully I don't drop them everywhere. There we go. Now, obviously, they're going to be uh, yeah, they're heavy. They'll sink to the bottom, but that's okay. Let's just get a few out. Just a few. Come on, out you come. Oh my gosh, spilling, spilling. Let's see what that looks like. I've spilled a few. <laughs> oh gosh. But yeah, they're they're not going to you know they're not going to float. They're just going to sit where they where they fall. But I thought that might look pretty as well. A few more. Put my hand in the way so they don't go everywhere. It went everywhere. Of course, it went everywhere. <laughs> All right. Um, now the last one. The last one. What will I put in that one? I was going to just put in um, this one. Sparkle. I guess it's the same as the other sparkle. I don't know. They all look the same, don't they? Sparkle, just a tiny bit. Don't need a lot. All right, so that's everything made up. Move everything out of the way. And I made up 100 grams of part A and 43 grams of the part B. And I'm just using the Platinum 360 Plus. So, yeah, there we go. All right, now let's get started, shall we? These bigger ones, um, I think they would be quite nice. Oh, look at that. They'd be quite nice. Like if you wanted to put a name on it, like if you're giving them away for a gift and you want to write a name on it, you've got that width there to write a name on it, which I think would be nice. So when I divided up my little cups, I put... I was weighing them because I thought I better make sure I've got enough. So the, these bigger ones I put like 15 grams of resin in. Um, the smaller ones had like 13 and then the, uh, the rest of them had like 10 or 11. Just whatever I had left basically because I figured they're not going to take a lot. Right, so that's that one. Um, this next one is my little snowflakes. I'm going to do this big bauble here with the snowflakes. I want to get some um, actual snowflake like stickers. Just need to separate these a little bit. Separate these little guys a little bit. And they're sticking to the bottom of my cup too. So yeah, what, what do you guys all do for, for Christmas? Do you have a special celebrating sort of hanging of the tree or trimming the tree? like my family do what do you have something similar and this is going to I'm just going to sort of spread this spread these out a little bit if I haven't left myself enough resin <laughs> um, I'll come back with just like a really thin little top coat um, but we'll see hopefully I've got enough I need someone to come and spread can someone jump down and help me I just need someone to spread the resin 
to the edges while I get a wriggle on <laughs> and do the rest of these. Pull the rest out before my resin sets up. There we go, get it to the edge. A little bit in there. Put some clear in there, so like that. I didn't put my gloves back on, did I? Oh, it's okay. I'm only doing little tiny things here. I'm being careful. I'm being careful. I'm not planning on making too much of a mess today. <laughs> a little project. Maybe I need to speed some of these up, hey? Could be boring for you watching me do this. It doesn't matter if there's a few overlapping. I'll, I might come back to those and kind of spread them out a little bit, but so far, so good. For those, a little. All right, what's next? I don't know what. Sh oh, this one's pretty big, isn't it? Let's do this one. Oh, look at that. So, this is a. Let me remember the shape. I chose all these designs. Um, oh gosh, I can't remember it now. Start, let's start with an A. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, it's a particular shape. I actually had someone ask me if I could do some um, coasters in this shape. I, I am getting to them, whoever you are. I can't remember. I can't remember, sorry. Um, but somebody asked me if, if I could. I'm going to leave that little bit there just in case I need to uh, I'm put a little bit through there. Hey, a little bit of sparkle with that. Why not? Just because this one needs a little bit more. I can have a tiny bit of sparkle in there. It's, it's still clear resin. It's just going to have a little bit of sparkle to it. Because that one's a bit bigger. I want to say abacus, but it's not. I can't remember its name. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, you guys are all yelling at me. Oh, look, as soon as I finish the video, I'll remember it. But um, I don't remember what it's called at the moment. No, never mind, never mind. Having a blonde moment. All right, let's move on. Those look amazing. I love that color. See how they're all just sparkly and glittery and gorgeous? All right, now here is just. This is just that um, silver paint, actually, that we used. We, I mean me. You guys were there too, so we used it. <laughs> this was the um, Extreme Sheen paint. Acrylic paint. You can use acrylic paint in your resin. You don't have to always use mica powders. Sometimes mica powders like don't dissolve properly and you get little bits floating around to the top. Um, yeah, the paint doesn't seem to do that. Nice and easy to use a paint. It dissolves easily. Uh, but pigment pastes are the same. They dissolve nice and easily. Just mica powders sometimes don't. Making a bit of a mess there. Trying to get that one filled. Should just use a toothpick, shouldn't I? Push it around with a toothpick. That's what I'll do. All right, there's a tiny bit left over there. Now, sorry, I'm taking a while, you guys. I'm going as fast as I can. Just get my baby wipe and clean that up. All right, what's next? What's this one? It's like a little surprise, isn't it? Let's do this one here. Ooh, look at that. I'm going to have to look back on the video and see what I used because now I've moved them all over to the side to get them out of the way. Oh, this was the blue. This was the opal, wasn't it? This was the opal. Yep, I remember now. It's got a slight little bluey hue to it. Very pretty. I'm just going to pour them in for now and uh, let, them, let them do their thing. They can spread and then if they haven't spread like all the way I'll just come in with a little toothpick or um, my silicon nibbed brush thingy and spread them a bit more alrighty uh, what have we got we are uh, this one has got the little bobbly things in it I think I'm going to use this one here 
because it's it's a baubly bauble. It's a look at it. It's 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 a baubly bauble. So I'm gonna put the little balls in it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, well, they're all. I'll put a few in there. I'm sinking to the bottom, but that's okay. It's not a problem. See, I didn't want to make them like fully cover the base. I just wanted a little sprinkle of them. I start buying Christmas gifts <laughs> just whenever I see something that I think someone will like. I think, oh yeah, I'll buy that. And then I stick it in a box in the corner of my bedroom. But um, now I need to get everything out and start wrapping and oh, nearly dropped it. Getting myself organized. Oh, and the Christmas baking. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Who loves Christmas baking? Me. I do. I do, I do. Alright, a little bit of baubles around there. I probably should have used the other cup. I think these cups up here had more in them. But... There we go. it all out. Every little drip helps. Um, yeah, oh, look, I'm sorry I'm taking such a long time. Fast forward. I won't mind if you fast forward. I'm just going to give this a quick little zap with the torch just to get that cleaned up. Now, I must tell you, I got uh, a message from Des from Platinum. Hi, Des, if you're watching. You're probably not watching. Uh, Des supplies me with all my amazing Platinum resin products. Oh, and it's had a black tip on it. Um, and he, he sent me um, a message saying that um, someone had contacted him who heard about the Platinum resin <clears throat> and is extremely allergic to resin and you know it has hospitalized him in the past and Des said well you'll be fine with the platinum 360 plus um, he sent him some and the man messaged him back a few weeks later and said he'd used I think he said he used 12 liters already and not one reaction so amazing I personally don't get a reaction with the Platinum 360 Plus if I miss a bit that's on my skin. I don't get a, um, a rash like I do with other resins. Um, and even other other types of Platinum um, have given me a rash, but the 360 does not. So I'm just saying that's, that's for me. It does not. So I'm very excited about that. Right, this one was the one of the silvery ones, silver sparkly ones. But look, you're going to have to. Everybody's different, you know, when it comes to resin and, and sensitivity to, to chemicals and things. So, um, yeah, you just have to try and and see what you think. But obviously, you know, protect yourself. But I'm just I'm just wanted to pass that on. That's um, what he got from one of his clients who was very happy that it didn't affect him so that's great great news right, that's that one I might add a little bit of I don't, I don't know that I like really the plain silver as much I'm going to add a little bit of this to that leftover silver And maybe a little bit of this. I don't think I need all of that. Because I've already got a plain silver one there, so I'll probably just add a little bit of glitter to this silver one. Ooh. That's pretty. <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? That's really pretty. Oh, this was the ink. This was the Marabou ink. So it's really pretty. And it's just got a little bit of that um, leftover glitter in there. These are going to be amazing. I'm going to put these on my tree. Um, but look, you'll see the video go up before I put my tree up. But um, once I've got my tree up and these are hanging, I will put up a photo um, on my Facebook group. But yeah, it's just not going to be for another... How long is it till the 
8th of December. I think it's the 8th, 8th of December. Is that a Saturday? That we're putting our tree, uh, putting the tree up. Righto, you guys, I have one left. One left. I've got a tiny little bit of resin left in that one. This one's just another glittery one. Plain glitter. Plain glitter. Plain glitter. I'm going to add just one drop of this amazing silver alcohol ink. And we'll do this little whoop do whoop bendy thing. That's an amazing hack, you guys. An amazing hack. Just that sort of sparkle glitter with one drop of silver metallic ink and look at that. Oh my gosh. That's going to be my new favourite. Absolutely incredible. And I guess the good thing too is <laughs> if, like my resin's starting to thicken up now, if you've got some bubbles in there, you're not going to see them because of the glitter. So... Oh my gosh, this is to die for. I just love that. Now, who needs a little bit more? They're all pretty full. I don't want to mix too many things together. So I want to see the, the colour of them all. So there we go. Ta-da! What do you think? Let's go down and have a little bit of a close-up. Take you down. Take you down. Zoom. Right, here we go. Now I zoomed in and I could see that those two were kind of stuck together. I do need to kind of spread these little guys out a little bit. I might if they're not too spread out, but I don't want them stuck on top of each other. There we go. Right, there's that one looking beautiful. This one, look at that one. That was that sparkle. Just some sparkle with one drop of the silver alcohol ink. And there's our tiny little silver balls. And it's that one. That one's got the sparkle as well. Another silver one. Oh, these are looking so good. This one's probably my least favourite. Probably because it doesn't have a sparkle as much. Actually, I wonder if I can... Mm, I don't know if I've got enough in there. I might see if I can add, take a bit of that out and just put a little sparkle in. What do you think? Just because the, all the others are sparkly and that one's not. And there's this guy. It's throwing a bit of blue there, which I'm okay with. Because, you know blue and silver they match beautifully and my this one whatever my shape is what are you I can't remember what you are <laughs> how annoying I can't remember love this look at this shape so yeah just a variety of different shapes all right you guys um, hope you enjoyed the, my little video I will come back to you it's only 9 30 in the morning <laughs> I'll probably come back to you later on this afternoon and um, unmold. I'll have to go up to the shed and go through my box, my Christmas box, and find my silver thread to, to hang these. Oh, my gosh. I love these. I'm just going to go and add a little bit of sparkle to that one. And then I'll see you in about six hours for the unmolding. So it's been 
I don't know, six hours or so. It's about 5.30 now and in the afternoon. These are, they feel set. Uh, they're not very thick though. Like I said, they're only three millimeters, but let's get them out. The thinner you pour your resin, <laughs> it's a little bit bendy, the longer it takes to set up. So if I had to pour like a really thick resin, you know, it, it sets up really, really quickly. Anyway, I'm just going to get them all out for now. Come out so easily. Where am I going to put them? Uh, here. I went up to the shed. I couldn't find the silver thread I was talking about, was telling you about. But I did find some um, white ribbon. On a a roll of white ribbon so I think that will look really pretty because like I said my, my Christmas tree is um, silver white and red so white will be just fine for these get them all out and then we can have a little look at them oh they come out so easily and gosh so happy with that all right so there's the mold it's in my store at the moment if anybody wants one that's it there. Okay, move that out of the way. We want to put you somewhere safe. Alrighty, let's have a look at these. I might get my little bit of black paper, I think, just so we can see them better. I don't know if this will be better or worse. <laughs> so that's it, kind of without the paper. Let me take you off focus there. And that's with. That's the front that I poured on. And then that's the back. So any glitter or um, snowflakes or anything that you put in there tends to fall through. So that's what it looks like without. So cute. Now this is the one that had all those little balls in it. I did. I shouldn't have. I scraped some extra resin out um, of my little cups. And I probably shouldn't have because now it's got more. It's hard to see, isn't it? It's it's hard to see. It doesn't really black doesn't really do it justice. But then you put it there, you can't really see what I'm talking about. All right, this little guy. He's gorgeous. I love the sparkle. I love all the sparkle ones. I'm glad I put sparkle. This is a sparkle as well, but it's a little bit different. I don't know what the difference is. Two different sparkle brands. Love this. That one, see, I've also scraped some extra resin into that and got a few bubbles as well. Don't scrape the extra <laughs> resin out. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. This is really pretty as well. Look at that. And this one's the same kind of shape, but it's just a bit wider. A nice lightweight. They're not too chunky, which is great. Look at the detail on the end of that. It's really pretty, isn't it? This one. Again, you can see where I've scraped out the extra. I thought, you know, I, I looked at them and I thought, oh, there's a little tiny bit of resin left in there. So silly me, scraped it out poured it in but of course it was full of bubbles the last little bits lesson learned and another way of another thing for you to do as I say not as I do <laughs> uh, you guys learn from my mistakes I like this shape it's so cute it's kind of throwing a bit of a blue bluey silver oh we've seen that one all right so that's them now, what I did was I went, I measured across the bottom of my mould like that. And I said, yep, that'll, that's about the right length for the, um, <laughs> they're all stuck to the back. <laughs> that'll do for the length because, I, you know, I didn't know how long to make it. So, and uh, I, I like to put, just cut the end on a bit of a point like that too. So there we go, thread it through, nice and easy to do. And I'm just going to put those pieces together and make a little loop, tuck them in. And there's my little, my little hanger. What do you think? Love it. 
That's so cute. I wish I had my Christmas tree up so that I could hang them. But I don't. I love this one. This is, <laughs> this is probably my favourite. Oh, I don't know though. I like them all. I like them all. Put it through. Do a knot. Pop it through. And there we go. Another little loop. So cute. All right, I'm going to do that to the rest of them. And I will, I don't know, I'll try and display them somewhere. I've got some, I've got some, um, like, um, oh, what's it called? Some wood, it's like some river wood pieces that's been in the river. <laughs> I can't talk this afternoon, it's late. Uh, you know, like aquarium wood, that kind of thing. I've got some of that, so I might display it on that. I'll wait until they're totally cured before I start putting that on the back, I think. There we go. Love them. That was fun. All right, so I'm going to do another set for my daughter, Christy, who has got all the sort of bluey, aqua, teal coloured decorations for her tree. Uh, and then I think I'll do one in maybe reds and golds, something like that. Uh, let me know if there's any other colours that you would like to see. And I'd also like to actually dust, dust these like with some mica powders um, and and see how that turns out because we'd get a really pretty shimmer. So just, you know, like I did with those um, rainbow crushed velvets that I did, something like that. I think that would look nice. Dust them with um, like a gold or a silver or a bronze. Yeah, let's do that. I want to do that now. No, I've got other things to do, but let's do that. All right, I'll leave it at that. I have the sparkle in this one. <laughs> and that one. I really like sparkle in that one. It's just got a little bit of extra colour in it. What was that? Um, oh gosh, what was that now? I'll have to go back and look at it. Look at through. Look at my video. See which one that was. Mm, no, I don't know. All right, there you go. <laughs> Move on to the next thing. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again real soon for the next video. Um, let's come down and see if we can see them a little bit better. Probably not because of all the glare. All the glare. That's them. So pretty. And that's it. I think that's it. All right. See you again real soon. Bye for now.